Especially when you're starting up, you're constantly going to face a lot of rejection. It's one of those things that we got to get used to and we become tough because of that. A lot of times you may go up to someone and you know, you're really asking them for help, you're asking them for you know, maybe some kind of favour because you're just starting up and chances are you're not always going to get it. And it's hard because if you're doing something you're very passionate about, you're so committed to it, you want it to work and for you it makes so much sense, it's just going to work. But when you tell someone else, they will tell you that oh, I don't think it's going to work, you know, like the younger you are, the more naive you are and the more naive you are, the more you can be more stubborn as well. So, you know, you, you don't care what people say. You know, like, uh, you're naive enough to believe that you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it happen. I think I was uh, fortunate in the sense that I had a lot of friends in the technology industry. Um, and these were guys who, you know, constantly talk about the different problems uh, that they face at work, different problems that they face in life in general. You know, they talk about these problems and they talk about, you know what, I'm gonna fix it. How am I gonna fix it? So there was a very positive aura that they gave out. And so naturally, the excitement rubbed off and that's how I got into tech. So I had my own so-called so like startup idea, um, but I didn't know how to code at that point. And then I went around looking for people to, who would say like partner up, you know, complement my skill. Um, and I just realized that there was a huge shortage of technical talent, um, not just in Malaysia, not just in Southeast Asia, but the entire world, even Silicon Valley. So because of that, I decided, you know what, I'm still young. I need a core skill that I can anchor myself in. And I decided that coding is the future and that would be the skill that I'm going to learn. The moment you go for your first race, right, then all the hours that you put into training, you're like, oh, now I know what that's for because that hours and hours of training is really just distilled into that few seconds or few minutes of, of racing. And when you go into that race, you realise like, okay, these are the things that I need to improve on uh, to get better. And then that is kind of what makes them come back again and like, okay, I want to work on this this time. 